Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to create Sankey diagram. Sankey diagram is used to show data flow between two dimensions. Let us now connect to the data source. Click on this connect to data and choose your data source type. In my case, it is Microsoft Excel. And then select the Excel file. Click open. Now bring the sheet onto the canvas and double click here. We need to duplicate, uh, we need to union the data two times. So click on this down arrow and then select convert to union. In this case, we are going to create the union of the same table. So bring the same table onto this window and then click OK. So before union, you don't see these uh, two columns. After union, these two columns are added. Click OK. So one column says about the sheet name and one column is about the table name. Okay, so here we have two table names Sankey data and Sankey data 1. Let us go to the sheet 1. If we drag here table name, so we have Sankey data and Sankey data 1, two tables because we have created the union of, of the same data. Okay, let us now create the calculations. First, we will create one calculation called padding. The calculation would be if table name is equal to Sankey data, then one else 49 end. Now right click on this padding and convert to dimension. Once you convert to the dimension, right click and create bins. So choose the bin size of one and then click OK. Now if you drag this field here to the rows, you will see the numbers generated from one to 49. Next, we will write one more calculation called T. The calculation is index minus 25 divided by 4. And then click OK. Right click and create one more calculation called rank 1. And the rank calculation would be running sum of sum of the measure. So in this case, our measure is value value divided by total sum of value click ok duplicate this ca calculation and name this as rank 2 click ok now we will write one more calculation for sigmoid create calculation name the calculation as sigmoid the calculation is 1 divided by 1 plus exponential of 1 raised to the power of t close click ok now create one more calculation for the curve the calculation is rank 1 plus rank 2 minus rank 1 into multiplied by sigmoid click ok and then we need to write one more calculation for the size of the bar that is size window average sum of sales sum of sorry in our case it is value click ok so remove this padding from the rows and now we are going to create a visualization first bring a t calculation to the columns and then bring curve to the rows now bring this uh, padded bin to the detail and our two dimension fields that is source and target source to the detail and target to the detail Convert this mark type to the line. Also bring the padded bin to the path. Okay. Now right click on the curve, select edit table calculation, choose specific dimensions. When you are also creating, you make sure you select the options that we are creating here. First, we need to select all the values present in the specific dimensions and bring the padding to the last. Now select rank 2 and select specific dimensions. 
select all the fields so once you select you need to bring padding to the last now when you select rank 2 make sure you bring the second dimension that is target as the first field here if you see rank 1 I have selected source as the first field rank 2 target as the first field next select T click on specific dimensions and select padding bin and then click close you need to right click on the T and then select specific dimensions and then click padding okay now we will bring uh, our uh, dimension 1 that is source to the colors so to increase the size of these lines we can click on the size and increase the size of these lines at the end you can see some extra points generated here so you can edit and close that one When you are creating these kind of charts, you can also play with this axis range and to remove the extra lines that is generated at the end of this page. So now this looks fine. Now let's create the label sheets. Bring source name to the text or colors and uh, the value measure to the rows. Right click, select quick table calculation percentage of total duplicate this sheet again instead of source use the second dimension that is target so we can assign different colors to this target I'm going to choose some other colors assign palette click ok now go to the dashboard bring the Sankey diagram so before that we will enable the labels here click on show mark labels and also bring the source name to the labels okay, that is fine source name you can increase the size and do the same thing here as well okay now go to the dashboard bring the source sheet is the first sheet here and the target sheet at the to the right side click this labels close delete containers and we can remove the titles right click hide title hide title hide title and we can hide this axis as well so if you see here that the website is present in this at the bottom whereas it is present at the top we need to reverse this axis right click edit axis and here select reversed so what's happening here is the sorting order is different to the label sheet and the Sankey diagram so that's why we're reversing the scale here okay if you reverse it then you can see they are in a proper sorting order now you can right click and uncheck this show header now you see there is still misalignment here so they are not properly aligned with these labels for that we need to edit access instead of automatic select 0 to 1 okay, if, it, if you select 0 to 1 then you can see this sheet is occupying entire area earlier uh, there was some extra blank space on this top click close now right click and show header and right click and check this show header so now these are properly aligned you can do the same thing here right click edit axis and then go to fixed since by default it is 1.05 it is taking some extra space and it is not aligning with the Sankey diagram chart okay so that's why we will keep 0 to 1 okay, right click Right click edit axis uncheck this reverse axis and then click OK. Right click and uncheck this show header. So
so now if you see here abandoned and the target is chan we need to make sure this line is going to the chan level okay it is properly aligned to this target sheet so this one is free tail um, and if you see the value here you can make sure this line is going towards the abundant free trial and let's see where it is going it's going to the purchase which is correct so we forget to add the size calculation to the size in the marks card let's go to the shanky diagram chart sheet and then add the size function size calculation there size calculation onto the size in the marks cards right click edit table calculation select specific dimensions choose padding bin 